wrong, kid. talk about another Pedro Pascal uh, uh, series, <laughs> which is The Mandalorian, Chad. The Mandalorian has uh, finally returned after, I don't know, how, how, how long of a of a hiatus, Chad, even though, you know, Mandy and the kid, they've been popping up in, in, in a lot of shows uh, recently, Chad, like the, the book of a fact. But this is the proper return of The Mandalorian, Chad, season three, episode one, or as it's also called, chapter 17, The Apostate. It's like, Jesus Christ, pick a title, pick a number. There's so many goddamn numbers, Chad. So many goddamn titles and subtitles and mini titles, and it's hard for me to keep track. But, again, this is taking place after the events of the book of Boba Fett, uh, you know, Din Djarin is trying to conceive of a way to restore his honor within the Mandalorian cult he was raised by uh, because he revealed his face to uh, Grogu chap, baby Yoda, uh, during the events of Mandalorian, I guess, season uh, season two, right? Um, I, I, I will say, you know, people who had not, it's, had, had not seen the book of Boba Fett, you know, which, you know, I can, I can understand why, because the show's not very good, um, they'd be a little confused as to why, uh, Mando and Grogu are back together, because as we know, Chad, it kind of wrapped up, it's like, all right, Grogu, he, he's going with Luke Skywalker, going to be trained to be a, a Jedi, Jedi Knight, become a Jedi Master, right, and like, that's it, but then, you know, Mandalorian, his adventures still continue on, he still has other things he's going to do, and they're like, nah, and so that, that, <sighs> That always kind of like bothers me. It kind of sticks in my craw. It's like, okay, I thought we can move away from this. But, you know, Disney, Lucasfilm, like, listen, man, everyone loves the Mandalorian. They love him when he's paired with Grogu, okay? You know how many fucking toys we've sold? How many t-shirts we've sold, all right? How little, you know, little minifigures? We're going to keep doing this, all right? They need to be together. So that's kind of what's going to be, Chad. Always going to be Lone Wolf and Cub. Um, and I was like, going into the season, I, I, I mean, the, all the trails look fun, it looked great, I was like, yeah, yeah, the money's on full display, no doubt about it, but yeah, that made me a little less excited, this is like, we're still gonna do this, huh, is this gonna be the two of them, okay, alright, um, but, you know, despite my, uh, opinions going into this particular series, maybe not be as being as excited as I was for season one and season two, you know, just kind of talk about the episode overall, this, this first episode chat. I, I feel like this, this feels like a, a table setting episode of sorts, if you will, you know, in, in the way that we're, we're catching up with multiple supporting characters, reestablishing the main story in case you forgot, because it's been off, you know, uh, for a while chat. Uh, and the setting of course, and just kind of the status of like certain character uh, relationships. You know what I'll say? I think that this this particular episode it, it's very fast paced, um, and I and I like that it moves at a nice fucking clip. We're we're going to multiple plans in this episode, and I was like, well, new, establishing new environments and aesthetics and how things have changed over time. And I like that because that's the thing. Like this episode, I think this particular season it features an a, an ex banded budget it, there is no doubt about it like i'm looking at stuff i'm looking at the sets i'm looking at the practical effects and the special effects and the space battles and everything chat and i'm like this feels like a movie this feels like a movie where it's like you know you watch maybe some of the early episodes of mandalorian and in, 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 uh, you know season two or especially in season one where it's like yeah this is green screen they're using the volume i can tell here it's like yeah it's it's it's, it's, it's big budget it's big budget but not not as big budget here i'm like i couldn't tell this 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 look this looked very, very impressive, Chad. I was kind of blown away by how good the show is looking right now, aesthetically. And it's obvious they're throwing as, as much money as they possibly can. And for good reason, Chad. You know, The Mandalorian. I mean, Andor is probably my favorite Star Wars show. But The Mandalorian, I think you, we, we can all say, is probably the most popular, right? With the viewing public, with the, with the mainstream chat. It's got everything you want when it comes to, like, a Star Wars show. Um, and this episode features just a nice balance of, you know, action and thrills. And you get these fun little interpersonal moments be between, you know, multiple characters. Like, how this episode starts. Uh, you know, we see uh, kind of the Mandalorian culture, at least within the cult, kind of rebuilding. And we get to uh, see the armor again. And, you know, Din Djarin coming in almost to save the day, if you will. Despite these people just, like, not liking him. <laughs> And being so adamant, you took your helmet off, you're nothing to us, you might as well be trash. He's like, well, how can I prove myself to you? And like, you have to do the impossible. And he's like, I will do just that. And it's like, okay, that's cool. 
establishing else, but plus it's always cool to just see fucking Mandalorians flying around and shooting each other, chat, and getting nommed on by giant water monsters. Who doesn't love shit like that? That's fun, right? That's great. Also, we see the return of Carl Weathers as, as Grief Karga Chat, who is getting uh, more ostentatious every time we see him. His outfits are always getting more spectacular, Chat. He's got all sorts of uh, bobbles and gold and everything, Chat, uh, on, his, on his person. But he's great. You know, uh, Carl Weathers, always great to see him in this. He's been doing a great job since he was uh, first featured in The Mandalorian Season 1. And here he's, you know, in a, in a much bigger leadership uh, position, Chat. Remember that, like, that fucking... Uh, uh, shitty town on, I guess, the planet they were originally on. You know, it just looked terrible, Chad. It was filled with thieves and pirates and gangsters and criminals and stuff and bounty hunters. Now it's kind of, it's, it's been growing over over time and it's starting to look more opulent. People are happy, you know. It's just like everything's being improved, Chad. It's gentrified. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I like that, I like the, like the, how it's been changing over time. It's been really cool and how you have like these seedier elements trying to get back in there and, you know, they're making it rough for the people that are living there, right? And there's going to be conflicts. But, uh, yeah, Grief Karga's interaction, Carl Weathers' interactions with uh, Din Djarin are, are great. He's, he's perfect for Star Wars, Chad. Always like seeing. There's also, like, some little visual gags with him. Like, he has these, like, little robot helpers that, like, because he wears so much, so many, uh, uh, like, so many, he has so many fancy outfits. He has this long cape, and he needs these little robots to, <laughs> to like, lift up his cape so it doesn't get dirty. It's like a little stuff like that. I was like, oh, this is pretty fun. This is pretty cool. Uh, there's also, um, you know, people are curious about... You know, um, oh God, uh, what's uh, what's her name, Chat? Uh, the one who ruined her career. I already forgot her name. <laughs> they want you to make. They want to make sure that you you you've forgotten her, Chad, That you don't want to. Cara Dune, yeah, Cara Dune. Uh, Gina Carano. They explain. Uh, Groot Karga's like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Cara Dune. She joined the New Republic Special Fighters, and she won't be around for a long, long time. And Mando's like. All right, cool, and it's like no questions asked after that. It's like, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on, but they made sure to mention, yeah, she's gone now. Um, so I guess that that was supposed to be her show then because there was this other announced show from a few years ago, um, which was going to take place after The Mandalorian Season 2. It was called The Fight. What was it called? The New Republic? Rangers of the New Republic. That's what it was, Rangers of the New Republic. And so I guess she was supposed to be like leading that, that show, maybe with also with... Um, uh, a couple of other like recurring characters that that we've seen before uh, in in the previous uh, two seasons, but yeah, I guess that went away. Chad, I don't think that's happening now. You know, I do like the idea. You can still do that. Like following a New Republic special op squad that does all these dangerous missions. Chad, you can bring in you can bring in like what Bill Burr. Bill, I think I, I wouldn't be surprised if Bill Burr, which was originally supposed to be in that in that series, but. And it looks like that scrap looks like that's not happening. They pretty much just, they wrote off the character. They said, yep, she went, she went away. I'm probably never going to see her again. Mandel's like, all right, sounds good with me. Um, and then you also have, like, you have a terrific space battle in, in, this, in this series, Chad, in this particular episode. Really blew me away, just the, just the look of it and aesthetic. There's also, like, a weird alien I've never seen before in Star Wars where I don't want to spoil too much, but it looks like they, they got Swamp Thing. Which is weird. I'm like, there's a plant. Like, you know, it looks like Groot. Looks like uh, if you if you combine Groot with uh with Swamp Thing, and that's a new Star Wars alien. Like, I've never seen it before, chat. So it kind of stood out to me. I was like, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, and then you also be yeah, again. We we start to establish uh more of the other supporting characters we've seen before, like Bo Katan. Uh, like you guys know, I'm a huge Katie Sackoff fan. Always love seeing her and stuff. She was my choice to play Captain Marvel back in the day. I think she would have done an amazing job in that role. Of course, she's Starbuck. She's been a ton of stuff. She's great. Love her. Um. She returns to Bo Katan and she's she's not happy. <laughs> I'm like, her performance, she's she's a little sassy, she's sassy chat, and she's mad. I'm like, and you're gonna be a problem, aren't you? So kind of establishing, ooh, I think there's gonna be some more conflicts between the Mandalorian chicks. I guess that's the, what they're kind of setting the table, if you will. We're establishing all these characters, establishing what Mandy's next quest is, right? What Din Djarin's next quest is. You gotta bathe in the pools of the Mandalorian mines, which does not sound great. That sounds very dirty, chat, and very claustrophobic, but you gotta do it. Um, but he's also the one that has the dark saber, and the dark saber in Mandalorian culture is like, hey, if you have the dark saber, we follow you. If you don't, fuck you. And so I think that's gonna cause a lot of tension. So I'm excited to see how that's gonna play out. And you know, Din Djarin, who's not really a leader, doesn't really want to be a leader. Chat just wants to you know follow the way, if you will, and raise his little baby Yoda kid. He's gonna be put in that type of position, Chad. So it's gonna be interesting. So maybe you know, allies will become enemies, enemies will become allies. Chat that will be really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing how that will play out. 
Um, yeah, the only thing that, again, I'm just kind of uh, not particularly interested in is just, you know, the Baby Yoda, you know, Din Because they do, Baby Yoda does cute things in the episode, but that's really it. Like, that's all Baby Yoda does now. He's just doing cute things. So if I have a criticism, it's, it's just like, well, they're, they're just kind of spinning their reels with this character. He seemed to have an arc. He was going to grow in this way. So is he going to be like a little Mandalorian? I don't know. I guess so. I guess that's what's going to happen, chap. But yeah, in this episode, there wasn't, they, he was just doing cute shit. That was it. Well, everyone else, everyone else had like, oh, you, 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 you're serving this purpose. This is your thorough line here. This is what we're following. This is your story. This is how it's going to define you. Baby Yoda's just being cute. I'm just like, eh, that's not enough for me. But I have to say, I have to admit, Chad, this was an entertaining episode. It, 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 was, it was fun. It was very, very fun. But I'm still curious, like, what are you going to do with this Baby Yoda character? What are you going to do with Grogu? How is this going to play out? He's just going to be there to do cute stuff because if that's the case, then that's not that interesting to me. But, Hey, it was a solid first episode, very entertaining. Looking forward to watch the rest. I don't know how long this season is. I guess like the previous seasons have been in what between eight to ten episodes, I suppose. So, and we'll see with this one. We'll see how this plays out. But I liked it. It was fun. It was fun.